What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something that I've wanted to do for quite some time, and that is me reacting to bad tattoos. Let's get right into this. So the one thing I don't understand is why people get bad tattoos, whether or not they thought it was going to come out good. Tattoos are permanent. They're on your body forever unless you get them laser removed, which costs a lot of money. So if you're going to get something tattooed on your body, make sure it's going to look good and pay for what you get. If you want something to look good and to have an actual good tattoo, regardless of what you're getting, make sure you get somebody that has the skills to pull off. Also, I personally would not recommend getting somebody's face tattooed on your body. I seem to see those being the worst ones out of all. And also, if you're gonna get words tattooed on your body, make sure you use spell check before you go and get them tattooed on your body. That to me is just common sense. But let's just get started here with the first tattoo. So of course, this looks like it's a back tattoo. Uh, tributes to Michael Jackson. And again, this is a face tattoo, which I would never get on my body just if you're going to get a face tattoo, make sure you're paying a lot of money for it and you have a top artist that is doing it. Otherwise, you're going to get something that looks like this because that does not look like Michael Jackson. I mean, you get the idea of it being Michael Jackson. Of course, it says his name on the bottom. But to me, this does not look like Michael Jackson. This is kind of creepy. It's kind of scary. Uh, the next one here. Again, this is what I say whenever you get words tattooed on your body. Make sure you use spell check and actually use grammar and everything looks fine and looks good before getting it tattooed. So it literally says, it's is my life, Bon Jovi. And I'm pretty sure the quote is supposed to be, it's my life. Regardless of what it says, the lining of the tattoo itself is terrible. It looks like a kid tattooed this on somebody. And I don't know, it's everything about this tattoo. The grammar is terrible. They just completely botched this quote. But also the tattoo itself, the line work is just hideous on this tattoo. Another word one, no regrets. I think I see this one more and more, people trying to put no regrets on their body, but they either they don't know how to spell it or whenever they tell the tattoo artist to put no regrets, they don't know how to spell it. If I'm going to be a tattoo artist, if somebody says a phrase or something, I'm either going to A, make them write it out so if it's spelled incorrectly, it's their fault, or at least use spell check on a computer prior to me actually physically tattooing it on somebody. That to me is common sense, so... Again, words, make sure you use spell check or something. <sighs> Number one, as you can see, that's the belly button. So this is going to be a belly tattoo, which again, gets something good in my opinion. Um, but bacon and eggs makes no sense. And it's also in the shape of a smiley face. So how it's placed, I don't get it. To me, it... It looks interesting. I think the line work is okay. Like, bacon looks cool, like, whatever. But why would you ever want that tattooed on your body? Extremely childish. Whenever you grow up, it's it's not going to look right. The next one here. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming it's supposed to be a tiger or something of that nature. But uh, the tattoo artist, number one, the proportions of this. Tiny, tiny legs, the back of the animal is all one proportion, and then you got the ginormous head, and the face is just way off. That does not look like a lion's face at all. It looks hideous. The line works awful. I'm kind of interested to see if they would ever put color in this, if the artist has the skills to pull that off to make it look a little bit better. I feel like it would, but regardless, this is a terrible tattoo. <sighs> the line work. If, if you're a tattoo artist, you have to have good line work. You have to not have a shaky hand. And that looks exactly like what this artist had is a shaky hand. This kind of looks like something that, you know, a prison tattoo or a makeshift tattoo kit that's not a real tattoo gun. And somebody that is trying to tattoo or learning to tattoo. Clearly, it looks like it's supposed to be Pink Floyd, one of their album covers, um, 
with the prism and the light going through it. I get that idea from looking at it because that's an iconic image. However, they did not pull it off. Number one, there's no color, but even if there were color, the line work is just terrible on this tattoo. Next, another word one. So first off, without the words, just looking at the line work of the weed leaf, you need some skills if you're going to be uh, tattooing. I've already mentioned that, and the line work on this is just awful. It looks terrible. It just looks cheaply done. I hope they didn't pay too much for this, but also they didn't sm spell smoke correctly. They clearly spelled weed correctly, but like smoke, S-O-M-K-E. If you can't spell something like smoke, tattooing is just, to me, should not be for you. I honestly don't know what this next one is. Um, kind of speechless. Uh, I would say it's a uh, devil cat. Um, it honestly resembles, I would say it's supposed to be like a goat or a mountain goat or something like that from how the horns are, but the face just resembles a freaking cat with horns. Why you'd ever want this tattooed on your body, I do not know, but terrible, terrible tattoo. The next one here, no pen, no gain. Uh, I'm assuming it's supposed to say no pain, no gain, but I don't know if they had an accent when they told the tattoo artist, but no pen, no gain. Makes no sense. Another one. Never don't give up. Grammar check would be awesome in this case. Uh, clearly they did not use that or had no intent to use that. So again, another poorly constructed tattoo. I don't get why people would ever put words on their body without realizing what they are. I mean, it looks, it looks cool because of the comic aspect to it. But number one, this is on your chest. Number two, why? Just simply, why would you want this tattoo ever? It's just, to me, that is ridiculous. Along the lines of being a ridiculous tattoo, why would you ever want a chair tattooed on you? One of those cheap white plastic chairs that everybody has had. Why would you ever want that tattooed on you? Just randomly. It's not even in a scene or a theme or anything related to anything that you would need a chair for. Bonfire, pool party, whatever. You just have a random chair tattooed on what I hope to be looks like your ankle. I, I don't know. I can't really tell. This to me is clearly a drunk tattoo. Not only because it says beers, 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 but... As you can see, it seems like they wrote the top one, and then the middle one, and then the last one. And the more they drank, the sloppier the line work has gotten. It just looks terrible. Somebody just automatically was drinking and thought, this is going to be a good tattoo. Beers, beers, beers tattooed on me. Somebody was drinking way too much. Terrible idea for a tattoo. At least it's not somebody's name, like a girlfriend or a wife, because that is something that I would never recommend to do. And the last one here, I at least hope this is the last one. I don't know if I can do this much longer. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be a lightning bolt on his forehead, if he was going for the whole Harry Potter theme or what he's going for, but number one, face tattoos, just no. Um, I don't, I'm not... I'm not really for face tattoos. If you're going to get a face tattoo, it better be phenomenal and it better look amazing. This is not that. It's an outline of what I'm assuming is supposed to be a lightning bolt. If it's not, if it's supposed to be something stupid like a Christmas tree or whatever the case may be, why? The work looks terrible. Clearly, this kind of looks like a mugshot in my opinion, so kind of makes sense in a way, but I don't know. I just don't know. So these are some terrible tattoos. I, I I must say, I love the idea of getting a tattoo. I honestly one day want to get a tattoo. I don't know what I want to get. Maybe a sleeve of different bands, different music and musicians that I'm into. Maybe the band logos and stuff like that. That's one idea I have, but also other things that interest me as well. And if I'm going to get a tattoo, 
I'm gonna make sure I get a good one and I have an artist picked out or at least a tattoo parlor or something that has good work and they have done good work in the past. I'm not just gonna go to some Joe Blow down the street who just happens to have a tattoo gun and say, can you tattoo this? Because nine times out of 10, if you're paying them for it, if they're giving you a, ridic a ridiculous cheap price and they're not costing a lot, it's going to come out terrible. And if it's somebody that just randomly has a tattoo gun, they have no known good work out there and you've never seen anything that they've ever produced, don't get tattooed by them, plain and simple. This is proof in this video right here of all the terrible ones. I can guarantee most of them, people didn't know what they were doing when they were tattooing or they were drunk tattoos or they just said a phrase and the tattoo artist had no idea how to spell or grammar or anything like that. So fun video to do. Um, it honestly opens my eyes to when I decide to get a tattoo to pay for it. If you're going to get a tattoo, pay some good money for it so it comes out right. It's going to be on your body forever. Again, unless you get it laser removed. But honestly, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did. I plan on doing more videos reacting to different things like this. I'm thinking of reacting to tattoo cover-ups in the future. Maybe uh, look at what the tattoo used to be compared to what it's covered up to be because some tattoo cover-ups look phenomenal. But anyways, I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please take care. Peace.